one. There we go. All right. Hello. Welcome to our impromptu mukbang. 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 Uh, in, in other words, we're just eating in front of the camera. Uh -huh. This is going to be great for audio. Um, oh, God. <laughs> Anyways, so welcome to our episode of uh, Dubbed and Subbed. I'm here, uh, Brian. This is Kalani. Hi. And uh, we're going to be doing uh, another two episodes of My Hero Academia. Yes. And we're with our podcast called uh, After School at UA. So uh, a joke that we're having since we're doing this impromptu mukbang is uh, in, uh, <laughs> is uh, after school lunch at at UA. <laughs> anyway, it's lunch time. Mm-hmm. I mean dinner time. I think we started with lunch and then we ended up with dinner. It's a little late in today. A little late in the day. This is terrible for audio. I don't know how people do mukbangs. Anyways. The so, secret is pushing everything to your cheeks mm -hmm. and then talking. And then start talking. And then pushing it back. I can't imagine how bad it is for these foam pieces here. <laughs> they have like food. Like food particles stuck in there and nobody could ever use them anymore. Oh god, that's so cool. Anyways, we're going to be doing episode 30 and 31 of this season. Which is right after the, the climax of... Um, well, not really right after, but like, it is like the end of the hero killer stain <laughs> and the students' uh, fight. And um, so the first episode we're gonna talk about is called literally called climax. Hey. There's no pun to that. There's nothing. Get your mind out of the gutter. Mm. Okay, in this episode, uh, three kind of like main things kind of happen is Tenya joins the fight uh, with Todoroki and uh, Todoroki. He's back. And Deku. And then per heroes are saving others from the Nomus, mm -hmm. uh, which I got uh, to fix some details that I forgot to mention in the last episode. Ooh, nice. Uh, Stain makes uh, his motivations known yeah. in this episode. So we could kind of split these into like three parts, which is basically the hero killer versus the students yep. and dealing with the ending of that. The heroes uh, regrouping and then and then Stain's motivations. Yep. Uh, I don't have my hourglass with me, but I do have the timer on right now. So we'll do a rough estimate of. Time. We'll do a rough estimate of time. We can do it. Yeah, we can do it. All yeah. right. You have a good sense now from doing it for so long. Uh, so uh, continuing in this episode with the encouragement of Todoroki, Tenya remembers um the man he wants to become. So essentially, he gets a flashback. Of when he was little, and also little Dek, not Deku, little Ida. This is the most precious thing ever. <laughs> um, and uh, it just uh, the flashback is just to uh, remind us is that his brother uh, inspired him to become a hero, mm -hmm. and then uh, Tensai, Tensai, Tensei, Tensei, told him that initially he wants to be a hero it's because it's in the family business. But he states that uh, he is inspired that uh, by Tenya's enthusiasm and his admiration for his for him, and he wants to keep that energy going and keep uh, Tenya's kind of like um, be continue to be his role model mm -hmm. as Ingenium. Uh, while Tenya is having this moment, Todoroki is using his quirk to fend off Stain. Stain notices that he uses his ice quirk, his ice and fire quirk as often. So he has this kind of like quote of like, you, don't you know that you kind of like rely on your quirk a lot? Uh, but w as he um, lunches for Todoroki, Tenya um, uh, basically counterattacks yes. in, that, in that moment. Uh, and in this moment, uh, Tenya recognized that Stain is, uh, is right in his, ass in his assessment of not being a true hero. But although he recognizes his realization, he must stand up. Because being a hero like Tensei is to do those things, you know, mm -hmm. stand up against people that's going to hurt others. And uh, as uh, Stain is going uh, to strike down Todoroki, Ten uh, Tenya uses Recipro Boost to just kind of kick him out. Uh, Tenya tries to apologize again, probably about the second time at this point, I think. He's very guilt-ridden. He's very guilt-ridden, yeah, at this point. 
Um, trying to apologize to Todoroki and Midoriya for getting them involved in his fight for revenge, which is also kind of like a good thing. He recognizes that doing that is not kind of the way to go about becoming a hero. Mm -hmm. And his kind of hellbent decision to, to enact that revenge is just kind of selfish for him. And it's not very much like what his brother would be doing. It's a very good character development for him he's kind of like passing the point of him wanting vengeance and getting into the point of realizing like it's not really i wouldn't say maybe it's not worth it but more so it's, it's maybe it's not exactly who he is mm -hmm. as a person or he he's like he's taking the high road yeah uh, approach to things yes um Todor uh, Todoroki uh, notices that the stage quirk is not as effective uh, with the presence of multiple heroes at once. He also notices that Stain becomes more aggressive and his attempts to kill uh, kill his opponents. Yeah. So as the battle goes on, he kind of gets like a rage mode going. I'm trying to make sure to to not get food particles on my mics right now. So I'm just being I'm I'm trying to make sure of that. The problem with eating. I know. Talking at the same time. This is why they have like really like omnidirectional mics when they use uh, mock bangs, I think. Mm, they yeah. usually do it from like up here. Right? Yeah, they have like a really high thing there. Yep. Uh, after another katana attack, uh, Tenya, uh, Tenya tells Todoroki to f uh, freeze his uh, radiators without plugging his exhaust. While this happened, De Deku is kind of getting up. Uh, Tenya and Deku both uh, use their quarks simultaneously to hit Stain. And then we kind of cut yep. to kind of like meanwhile. Uh, Endeavor and Gran Torino. Uh, Endeavor analyzes the quirks of the Nomu and notices, uh, G uh, Gran Torino notices that these Nomus have multiple quirks, which I uh, forgot to mention last week is that one of the episodes last week, we had the investigator come in and talk about how these quirks are working mm -hmm. and then how these car these nomus are kind of like genetically modified kind of humans or something mm -hmm. humanoid creatures and so in this episode you get more of like an explanation of the nomus or at least kind of those what they were saying in action in this one endeavor takes uh talks to gran torino and hears something in the distance gran torino makes a plan endeavor remembers a flashback Remembers the flashback when Todoroki leaves his side to help Deku. And he tells Gran Torino to investigate the location while Endeavor investigates the other explosions in the area. So they make a plan and just kind of like break. Yep. Uh, back back with the students, Tenya gives another kick to Stain. Oh, uh, wait. Uh, while Todoroki uses his flame, uh, flame attack. Todoroki... <laughs> I think this food is really getting to me. We're all food coming. Yeah. Uh, Todoroki then uses his ice uh, to uh, to safely get uh, Deku down. So basically, this is after they kick um, Stain in the face mm -hmm. and in the stomach. Yeah. I think I remember. It was uh, Deku uses a punch and Tenya uses a kind of... It was kind of like if you think about it's it. It's like an overpowered version of his recipro boost. The way that you like you would think about it, the way that they hit him, I honestly thought he would start spinning like those really. Oh, you know, like, like a like, like a fidget spinner, right? I'm just kidding. No, no, no. Like you know how in those cartoons, right? Mm -hmm. Like you know, like um, when Team Rocket would like blast off, they just kind of like gently. Oh, like, like spin out. <laughs> I, yeah. I almost thought that like he, it was gonna happen in he that would way. Just be like, and I'd be like looking at me like, what happened? Uh, next, Endeavor, uh, rendezvous with the other heroes to help deal with the Nomu that, uh, regenerates. He burns his head. While doing that, another Nobu grabs a person and flies off. Endeavor takes, uh, tells the heroes to meet up to the location men uh, he mentioned to Gran Torino. And so, there's gonna be more heroes getting there. Yep. The aftermath, the students take away Stain's knives. Uh, Native, uh, carries Deku and Ida. Uh, and Todoroki tries, uh, ties up Stain. Uh, Gran Torino comes and scolds Deku for leaving the train, as most teachers would at that point. More, he more heroes arrive and is surprised to see the hero killer. Ida gives the most sincere apology to uh, Deku and Todoroki, Todoroki in another <laughs> apology, but this time it's like after, after they're 
uh, the capture and stuff. I think it's kinda... also kind of like looking at the state of like Todoroki and Deku. It's kind of like a. It's like a thank. It's like a sorry thank you kind of situation. Yeah, because yeah. like Todoroki's arm is like stabbed in, mm-hmm. and Deku has like what? Um, Multiple cuts. He can't even walk. Yeah. Um, Ida give. Uh, wait, no. Um, in in the in that moment, Nanomu catches Deku and tries to fly away, but Stain uh gets. A lick from the Nomu's blood and dispatches the Nomu that carried Deku. The hero killer. So it's just loud music outside. Oh, okay. So somebody's having a party. <laughs> we keep hearing. Music yeah, we just keep on hearing. Like... Yeah, music. I was like, what's going on? Uh, the hero killer's message. Uh, Stain takes off his eyepiece, which in, in a very dramatic way, he calls out hip- heroes as hypocrites and claims that he will reclaim that uh, word hero. He says he, he says that the only hero that can kill him is All Might, and in that moment he um, in that moment all of the heroes did not have the courage to move. And in this moment, I think that Stain's uh word like i like when, when i write these notes i think that stain's words kind of make sense because there are kind of heroes that are just kind of like doing it just for the money and stuff mm. like that um and then in that mo uh, also at that same moment i know i'm saying that like th- three or four times just now um the hero killer kind of pauses and essentially what had happened later De- deku explains this is that uh blood entered his lungs and then some that, somehow that paralyzed him. I think it was that or something about his rib breaking and it like stabbed his lungs. Oh, he stabbed his lungs and his blood just filled his lungs. Yeah. Uh, Shigaraki, uh, closing out this episode, uh, is uh, visibly annoyed of the hero killer killing all his Nomus. Mm. Which wasn't the case. There was two Nomus that got dispatched by Endeavor and then the flying one got killed by... You know what it is? I think it's actually yeah. more like... If I remember off the top of my head, I think he's more upset the fact that, um, actually, no, 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 wait, I think that makes sense. I think later on it gets revealed that, like, he's more upset that, uh, like, more people paid attention to what happened with the hero killer. That's the next episode. Right? <laughs> Don't jump the gun there. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm lying. It's okay. But, all, to- all together, with the previous episode, considering this episode is very heavy on, on what's going on with... Uh, with Tenya, Deku, and Todoroki. And then it's just basically, if you were to co- combine this episode and the previous episode, it would have just been like one big episode of like action. And and this is more of like kind of the resolve. Mm-hmm. But I like how this is paced though. It's like you got story beats for, um, for Tenya in this moment. You get um, his understanding of why he looks up to his brother as much as he does. And we get more information of how the Nomu kind of works in this universe. Yep. So, I don't know. Is there any other questions you have for this episode? Well, one thing I I remember vividly about this episode was that, like, hearing the hero killer's motivation for being a villain is kind of an interesting point of view. Mm-hmm. Um. Like I said before, he does have kind of like this affinity to like heroes who more traditionally fit into the hero, like Mm -hmm. what a hero is to be Mm -hmm. versus like their definition of it, which kind of like ranges from like the more mundane things. Mm-hmm. Like just, I want to do it for like money and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. The notoriety, the money. Mm-hmm. So, I think um, hearing from him like that, it's very important that people hold up those traditional ideals, is a very interesting perspective for a character to have. Um, another interesting thing is, I think it says a lot about his character at the end, that um, they were mentioning that out of all of the different heroes that were there, when Deku gets picked up by that Nomu and mm-hmm. starts getting like flown off with the Nomu like holding him in his hands and stuff like that, the only person willing to actually face the Nomu and rescue him is the one person they're all trying to capture. Yeah. You know, so does that make him more of a hero than all of the other people? I don't really think so, but I think... I wonder if he has that ideology... 
I'm sorry if I cut you off, but I wonder if he has that the thought that heroes are not um, people to take the credit or to gain money, to gain fame and fortune, right? Mm -hmm. And his idea of being a hero is just doing it out of the kindness of yourself. Mm -hmm. But he lives in a time where like, he never saw that. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he, he goes into this criminal world of exterminating all heroes and kind of still represent that oh, I'm going to be doing this because I want to get that notoriety and that fame and all that stuff that comes from being a positive hero figure. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I think... He, I don't know what it says, but, like, specifically the fact that, like, by him becoming a villain and doing this, you know, he gains a name for himself, mm. you know? So I don't think it's necessarily, like, the name part because he also has kind of like that significance like people know who he is yeah i think it may be more so just holding up ideals like if you don't match into what i feel like a hero should be then you don't deserve to be a hero in the first place is what i'm i figure it means it's like, prob to probably what they're saying yeah. yeah and then um i think another really important thing to look at is like I still want to, like, question whether or not that makes him a heroic figure. For Stain? Yeah. Because he's a villain, traditionally, right? He's, like, a traditional villain, but, like... He doesn't tow it completely. I wonder if he's, like, towing that fine line becoming, like, the anti-hero in mm. this sense. Whatever his... his Whatever's his ideology in the next episode that we're going to dive into is... is, is it, I wonder if he's going to be seen more as an anti-hero mm. in this case. Yeah. Oh, but also another thing before we start moving on. I find it really interesting that the only person he's willingly accepting of as like a hero would be All Might. I think Deku is somewhere up there too, but All Might's definitely up there. Hmm. I wonder if he has a feeling that these students like Todoroki and Deku are more heroes than Tenya, Native, and all the other heroes that he's trying to dispatch. Mm, I don't know about Todoroki, but I definitely feel like Deku, he considers... Like, like a more... Of someone a who's worthy because he willingly saves him, too. Yeah, and he does everything to try to save people. Mm -hmm. uh, which also is to his own detriment because there's also, like, that need to save everybody on a mental level can be... A bad thing too you know though we, we kind of explore a little bit of that in the third season this is third season stuff because uh it dives a little bit deeper into kind of the psyche of like you can't always save everybody mm -hmm. okay all right we're gonna do a big pause here because i think uh somebody's coming in right now so give us a quick second we're gonna cut these two episodes together later pausing pausing <laughs> i'm muting you I have all the power. I have the mix the power of the mixing board on. <laughs> Ready. It's still going. Wait, let me see. Uh, did I press record on that? <laughs> 